damn thing. Please come in. Please come in. Please come in. You're late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It's the final day. Oh. Any any of one got a headache? No. No hangovers here. Right. Okay, me not. Oh. So come in, please come in, please come in, please come in. So um, tomorrow morning um, we will have some performances for you, as you can see. Some chemistry, of course, some music, and of course many many slides. So it will be lots of fun. But first of all, Rosa and I prepared some play with the guitars up here. So I would like to ask Rosa to come up here on stage. Don't uh, do it. Um, but Rosa, I want, want to tell you something. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice. I've never played the guitar, so it would be wonderful for you. <laughs> yeah, I think it's over. Yeah, okay. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, let's try once more. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Ah, that's more likely. Okay. So, just a few announcements uh, to, to, to get you going. Don't forget that uh, lunch bags are going to be available for you upstairs whenever you feel like getting them. There is no pressure in time. We are going to have um, trash bags. Uh, this house has, uh, um, they recycle everything, so there are different bins for the different things. So make sure you ask us for the plastic bag you need for your, the things that you want to throw away. If you want to give away something also, you can inform at the end of the day, say I have this or that to give and whoever wants it can take. We do have uh, electric uh, cords to give away and uh, cardboard because all, the whole thing uh, is built on cardboard, so it's recyclable, reusable. So for the Portuguese teachers in particular, if you want to take like 100 of them home with you, please do so. Uh, we are not going to throw it away, but uh, we really would like, uh, you know, those of you who can make good use of it, uh, to, to, to please come to us at the end of uh, the day. Um, also, I would like to say that uh, we will announce the bingo winners by the, the final ceremony, and uh, also the roll up challenge. And the icebreak winners, you are going to receive information that you have accomplished your mission. And that person over there, that will stand up, Steph Tishka, the member of my team, he is guilty for all of it. <laughs> and so just go looking for him and get your prize from him, okay? And uh, don't forget that we have <coughs> two workshops running this morning. One, uh, from the two of them from Google, Earth Engine, and Storytelling. Have a super morning with us. Okay, so uh, could we please close the door? Thank you so much. Is everybody here? Finally? Okay. So, uh, with no word saying, uh, now we will have some sounds of science uh, on stage. So, um, I was told that um, the technic will now start the presentation uh, and we will see a video and uh, let's say the stars will come in and start their playing in here. So, um, let's enjoy the show with the sounds of science. <laughs>
Music is an important vehicle of information, but music could be also the subject to analyze. Numerous experiments with sounds can be created, from changing the amplitude or frequency of the music, or understand the differences between pure and complex sound. But many more possibilities can be explored, such as the constructive and destructive effects of adding waves, or the incredible resonance effect in which a wave produced by one instrument can produce a vibration of equal frequency in another. You should ask for your students new ideas to apply. I'm sure you will be surprised. To understand the physics behavior of the sound waves and how to add and subtract sounds, students must use this knowledge also to apply to mathematics. They can add and subtract waves and verify that the behavior of the algebraic result is consistent with the tested sound experience. In addition, to learning the concepts of both physics and mathematics, they will easily understand the closer relationship between these two sciences and the reason they represent the worlds around us. And now, no more talk. Let's sing a song about how to feel the knowledge. Yeah. 
to this conference with a lot of teachers because you get really excited about uh, what people are doing. Thanks, thanks Rosa for inviting me. So I will give you a, a bit of the highlights of what we have done for this year and also the especially related to things that teachers can do. Uh, I don't know how can I, I pass my slides. I guess it's this. Yes. So just to, to let you know about the International Astronomical Union is the union of, you know, of professional astronomers. There are 13,000 astronomers around the world in the, that belong, that are members of IAU and their mission is to promote, through international cooperation, promote astronomy in all its aspects, including education. And, wh and why, why, why that? Because, I mean, first, astronomy is awesome. I think everyone has been mesmerized looking at the starry sky, even since all cultures, everyone has been uh, using the sky for, for many, 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 th many things. In a way, also astro astronomy joins us together. It's this feeling of where we are 